Hello everyone, welcome to Office Mystic. In this video, we're going to go over one of the most useful formulas in Excel. You'll find hundreds of videos of it because it's that popular and it's one of the easier ones to learn. So let's get started. In, you'll see here in the records tab, um, you'll find the record number, first name, last name, just a lot of information. And here in the product tab, we have one column called record number and column B, product number. Now I want to bring over all the product numbers uh, from the other tab that has these record numbers. So in order to do that, we use the XLOOKUP. And there's two ways of doing that. One, by typing in the formula, or two, using the, the guide or the, the menus, the dialog boxes for, uh, through Excel, because it'll help you walk through the whole process. So we're gonna do both ways. I'm pretty old school, so I like just putting in the formula, honestly. But here we go. This is my cat, Logan. In case you notice, he jumped up on the desk. Maybe not. All right. So, equal sign. X lookup. Open paren. Okay. Now you'll see here, this will help you figure out what to enter into this formula. It's, it's, it's like a helper. So under lookup value. All right, what are we gonna look up? We're going to look up this cell, 1265. Then you enter a comma to go to the next part of the formula. Lookup array. So that's asking, where do you want me to look for this form for this cell? All right, I want to look in the records tab under here. Record number. All right, so then you do comma to go to the next part of the formula, which is return array. All right, so what it's saying now, all right, if I do find a match, what do you want me to do? So in the return array, you want to tell it to pull the information from one of these columns. And in this case, it's column E, product number. And I'm clicking on the E itself, and you'll notice here, it says E colon E, that means it's gonna select the entire column instead of a range, but that's a, another topic. Uh, we just want to see the X lookup in action. All right, then we hit comma again to go to the next part. If not found, all right. If I can't find this record number, what do you want me to do? Well, I want to enter not found. So you can enter not found by entering the uh, quotation marks. So quote, not found, quote. So whenever there isn't a match, it's gonna say not found and enter another comma. And now it wants to know, all right, how accurate do you want me to find this thing? We're going to do zero exact, exact match, comma. All right, how do you want me to start looking for this? So we're going to choose the first one, search first to last. It's pretty common. One, and then close paren. So you'll see here, it searched for 1265, it found it, and pulled over 20, the 2527035. Now to populate the formula across, you know, down the entire column, you can double click on the bottom right hand corner. And it will go down to the very bottom. It's gonna go down to the very last record. So it doesn't just go, you know, through infinity. Um, however, if this cell here, A98, if that was, empty, it would have stopped here at 97. So just keep that in mind if you if you don't have content in every single one of these cells. In that case, you can just, you know, click on the bottom right hand corner here and just drag it down to where you know it's going to be. All right, so you see here, 5324 was not found. So let's take a quick look to see if that's the case. I'm gonna copy it, Control C, go to records, Control F, Control V to paste, find next, and nothing. We couldn't find what you were looking for. Okay, close. So we see that it's working. All right, so that's how you do it with a formula. So let's delete that and let's just use the wizard or the, the guide in Excel. And to do that, you click on the formulas tab, pull down the look up and reference menu. And down here, you'll see there's a whole 
huge list of formulas that you can use, but those are going to be other videos eventually. Uh, we're just going to focus on XLOOKUP. Now you might notice the VLOOKUP right above it. it XLOOKUP is basically an upgraded version of VLOOKUP. XLOOKUP, there isn't a situation in which I would choose VLOOKUP over XLOOKUP. I would probably only deal with VLOOKUP now if a if a spreadsheet is already using VLOOKUP and you have to deal with it. Um, if you are allowed, I would just swap them out with XLOOKUP. But anyway, let's continue. So click on X. I do have a video on VLOOKUP if you are curious that I made a couple years ago. Okay, XLOOKUP. Now here in this window, it walks you through the process so you don't have to memorize the formula. Okay, so lookup value, same as before. You click on this button here, and what do you wanna look for? I wanna look for A2, 1265, all right? So I'm gonna go back to here, and then lookup array. All right, where am I looking for this? Go to the records tab, click on the A to select the column, we're gonna look for it there. Return array. All right, if I find a match, what do you want to see? I want to see, back here in the records tab, um, product number. So whenever you find a match in the record number, I want you to bring over the number here, the corresponding uh, product number. So if it's 5133, I want it to be, I want it to bring over 8104246, all right? Click here. If not found, then what? All right, I want it to say not found. So you can enter any text you'd like, just surrounded by a uh, quotation mark so it knows to do that. Not found. All right, match mode, zero, because we want the exact match. We don't want um, either it's a little bit higher or lower. No, we just want zero exact match. Now, if you want uh, a description of each of these fields, like a very lengthy and very detailed description, click on help on this function and it, you'll, you'll be sent to a URL, a web page with tons of information of how this formula works. And it's, it's really great if you have the attention span to read through it. Um, so if you want that level of detail, just click on there and it'll take you there. All right, so now we click okay. And you see, it's giving us the exact same numbers as before. And you'll notice here, it says comma zero. And it didn't ask me for that last part in the, if the, in the formula, if I typed it out manually. Here, I'll show you. I'll go in here. Then when you hit comma, search mode, it would be one. Now, if you don't put in a one, it, it defaults to that. That's the default. So that's why it's blank. But it defaults to one if you happen to not put a number in there. We'll go probably into detail of all of the features within this formula in another video. All right. If you have any questions about this or if you're working on a project and it's you know, not identical, so it's hard, you may have difficulty applying this formula in something that's slightly different. Uh, leave a comment below and I'll be happy to help. And uh, please subscribe. That really motivates me into making more of these videos. And well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching and have a good day.